it in bed. And suddenly hears a voice say, there's only thee and me. So he jumped out of bed and put his shirt on. And he heard this voice again and he said, there's only thee and me. He said, I don't only get my pants on, there'll only be thee. <laughs> well, you know, we hope you'll be very happy when you marry Danny, you're a grand lass. We recommend marriage very highly. It's a fine institution. No, I'm not joking, no, it is. <laughs> In my opinion, no family should be without it. If you was my boy... Oh, look. Hmm? I said, if you was my boy... I'm glad I'm not. So am I. You get up and get your own tea. What, me? In my state of health? You know what I'm going to do when you two get a place of your own? Have a nice, quiet listen to the wireless. And some of my own sugar ration. Hey, 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 that's ours. How do you know? Hey, Smell, of course. Turn it off. There, it's company. Which is uh, more than you can say for your own son-in-law. Oh, I suppose she could have done worse. <laughs> she likes it. I've never known anyone so wrapped up in somebody as she is you. But you listen to me, Ken. She wants a place of her own. It isn't right to be stuck here with her mum and dad ten months after she's married. You're doing us proud, though. No, just the same thing. Mm, as a matter of fact, I, uh, I saw a place today. Already took, I suppose. Not? Mm. Would have shooted us down to the ground. Thirty-seven and six a week. Won't do better than that nowadays. In three rooms. So I said, um, I'll, I'll take it. She said, oh, of course you'll buy the furniture. So I said, furniture? Where? They always do come the old acid. One old electric fire and the curtain rods. Two hundred quid. Oh, get you down, don't it? Mm. This is the BBC light Sounds program. a long time. The time is now 7.30. Something serious wrong with that clock, Mum. It's dead right. It isn't. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I bet Dad stopped on the way home with that Scotchman. Where's she gone? Oh, out. Really? Mm. I did ask where she was going in all that soaking rain, but of course I'm only a Mum, so she wouldn't say. If you ask me, she's been a bit funny lately. Ah, uh, no, she's Parker. Nervy one minute, like a dog with two tails the next. <laughs> I know them signs. You don't. I had three of me own, didn't I? That's what it is, eh? Sugar. Oh, bribery. Well, look, Mum, you won't tell her I, I told you, will you? But she went to see the doctor last week. I knew she was up to something. Yeah, he took a blood test and all sorts of things. Well, I think of next was not So she's, uh, she's gone tonight, just to be sure. Well, I never did. My Joe going to have a baby. Seems just like yesterday. <laughs> How time flies. Oh, aren't you going to congratulate me? You? What on? Didn't teacher tell you? Huh? Well, you see, Mum, it's, uh, it's like this. Only first you've got to learn all about flowers. Oh, don't be soppy. <laughs> I can't believe it. Really, I can't. I suppose it's all the more reason to get a place of your own, but nice to have it here, though. And that reminds me. I wonder if I've still got those woolies. For the life of me, I can't remember if Mrs. Perry gave them back. It's 11 years if it's a day. And she did promise to. They wouldn't be in your chest of drawers, would they? No, I emptied that when you came. Joan! Oh, you went through. Well, what did he say? Well, uh, everything's all right. It was awful. Something's wrong. It couldn't happen to me. Joan, I can guess. He said nothing doing. A mistake. No mistake. Well, then he's been frightening you. I know, he's put the wind up you. No! Joan, you've been upset. Tell me from the beginning. Oh, come on, say something, anything. For goodness sake, don't make me keep on guessing. If he said you won't be having a baby, then I'll I... I'm having a baby. Or that it isn't going to be normal? It'll be normal. The doctor says he thinks so. Well, that something will go wrong with you? 
Nothing will go wrong with me. He doesn't think so. Well, then, there can be nothing else to worry about. No, I don't mean that. Well, you're bound to be a bit scared. Any girl would be. But nowadays, what with all these new drugs and... Well, I tell you, everything will be all right. It's just that I was sure you'd rush in all eager-like and shout it's a boy or something. But, of course, it's not me who's going to have to I'm not me. scared. Well, then, you've got to believe me. Everything's going to be all right. That is what the doctor says. Everything's going to be all right. Well, then, there can be absolutely nothing else to worry about. Cause strike me up a gum tree, as your dad would say. I can't believe it. Me. Father. Joan, you're shivering. You're caught cold. Now sit down, and I'll tell you what... Please don't touch but me! But Joan, I'm only... Please! Where are you going? Out. In this rain... I want to go out. All right, we can celebrate if you like. What do you say we go into town? I'd hate it. Oh, uh, it's too late for a show, but we, uh, we could go up to the Royal just to say we'd celebrate it. <laughs> eh? I want to go out alone. Whatever for? That's how I'm going to live. Alone. Joan, you're fever. Oh, you don't touch me! And you better find a room for yourself. But why all this? Why? I hate even to say. You must know anyway. But the doctor made me promise to tell you. He wants to see you. See me? What for? Well... Well, you gave it to me. Gave you what? The baby? Of course I did. Not the baby. Then what? Syphilis. Oh, I didn't hear the door go. Fancy leaving me to guess. Oh, Mum! <laughs> Just like I was. It's not real crime, not sad like, you know, it's only excitement. <laughs> Mum's here. <laughs> when Ken told me I was that excited, I went straight up to look out these woolies. <laughs> There's not a moth in them. They're as good as new. <laughs> and not the luck you get nowadays. <laughs> Cut in some bread, dear. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, I wish I was young again. They're such lovely company. One boy and a couple of girls. That's the way to arrange it. I'd change them for grown-up company any day. Company is the word, Mum. It'll certainly be a change from the old days. I met Doris the other day. Doris who? I don't know who. Friend of Jones. She was in town, walking. Just walking up and down, as far as I could see. Oh, she came to no good. Yeah. I remember Jones saying in a letter once how good a friend Doris was when I was in the army. Then afterwards she got... Well, she got into bad ways, and Joan threw her over. They stuck together quite a while. Goodness, you're not quarrelling over a little thing like that. Never thought about it again. Of course you didn't. You know my Joan for what she is. You're right there, Mum. Oh, there's no cause to go over old sores. We ought to be celebrating. Remember that bottle of brandy we had when Dad was poorly? Let's chance it and have one. I am being a silly. You must have things you want to talk over. Just you two. I'll go upstairs. Don't quarrel, though. You never do. And not tonight of all nights. 
Didn't you used to go away to the seaside with Doris every year? Oh, what's that got to do with anything? That was ages ago. Two years ago, three years, four years. If what I think is right, it was you. I'm Lord. more than suggesting. Please don't touch me. I couldn't bear it. No, but that's not what you said to them, is it? Please don't touch me. To who? Men. Those filthy, dirty... You can't say things like that to me. But it must be you. It must be. You were in the army all that time. Oh, and so you jumped to conclusions. Well, you're wrong. But you can't know for certain it isn't you. Oh, yes, I can. How? A week before we were married, I went to the doctor for an examination. No, not just for that. A thorough examination. Blood tests and the whole works. He said I was all right. OK, A1. That... that doesn't prove anything. It proves everything. It proves that you went off skylarking. And all the time you were sending me those letters. I was sure it was you. What happened? What happened? I've forgotten. But it was so long ago. What was so long ago? But I don't understand. How could it have happened to me? What do you think you are, eh? Somebody too high class to meet up with a common germ? But not too high class to pick up with any Tom, Dick or Harry. That oh, it wasn't it. No, butter couldn't melt in his mouth, could it? Go on. Pretend to be silly. Perhaps you are silly. Perhaps I've been too big a fool to notice it. But you're going to tell me what happened. Oh, get down! Get out of it. Mom! Hello, lad. What are you doing that night? Mom! Cutting some bread. I've got some news for you. And enough news for one day. <laughs> oh. Those from the Brewers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that bloke, uh, I've forgotten his name, whose boy's got a hair lip and his girl got that French prize? Millitson. Ah. I bet you remember his name when it's his turn to buy a round. <laughs> <laughs> well, his brother's got a flat in, uh, what's the name, Street? Uh, Cotter with Road. Number, uh, what's the number? Yeah, where's my other slip? Where you put it, I suppose. <laughs> Oi. 57A. That's right. You got that? Well, he says if you kids nip round there right away... Come on, does he? Yes, a chance, you two. Three rooms a bath in the kitchen. He's moving because he wants a garden. But you don't want a garden, eh? Nursery, more <laughs> like it. <laughs> Strike me up a gum tree. Oh, good luck to you. Good luck to you. <laughs> but the look of things... Kin's been strewing over flowers. <laughs> Have you, lad? No, not exactly. <laughs> now then, you two nip along there double quick. <sighs> You'll be wanting to settle down now, you know. Be on them before they know where they are. I'll go. Alone. Wait for me. 